two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number at the number one. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Replay Shadow of the Colossus with Neo x -Fil. Sorry there hasn't been an episode in a while, it's just I haven't really liked most of the recordings I've made for this episode yet, so... Hopefully this one works out. <laughs> in any case, let's listen up, because Dorman has another mission for us. Another Colossus for us to take down. It's too bad I can't do a John Forsyth impression, otherwise it could be like... Alright, Wanda, here's another Colossus, off, off in the mountains, to the north. Yeah, I can't do a John Forsyth impression, so... <sighs> Unfortunately, Wander, you can't be one of Charlie's angels. Dorman's angels. Or angel. <laughs> So the anger of the sleeping giant that shatters the earth. Wonder what this could be. But we'll find out in just a little bit because we've got more pressing matters at hand. Like? Riding on birds. Yeah! Pretty much any bird you can find, if you can jump to it and hold R1, you can ride on it. Uh, there are a lot of players who actually use this to get to places that you're not allowed to even get to in the game. <laughs> so. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of jumping around and, well, just bad transitions in general. <laughs> We've been jumping off the front of this temple this entire time. Let's make it a little more interesting, shall we? Yeah. Alright, come on. Nail it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Ooh! That didn't look like it was that comfy. Alright, Wander, where's the light guiding us today? North? Very good. Looks like we're heading back the same way that we did with the last Colossus. You know, I keep I keep screwing it up. I keep calling him Colossus or Colossi interchangeably. You'd think... You'd think I'd have it by now. <laughs> but... <laughs> whatever. Come on, Agra, where are you? Don't keep us waiting. We got a long trek ahead of us, and I would rather not take it on foot. Well, actually, to be fair, if you know where you're going, you can get to this Colossus fairly, fairly quickly. But, we've got some things before we fight that Colossus. This is going to be the first Colossus we take a bit of time getting to. Just because, as I showed in the first episode, there are different things you can collect. Uh fruits that we collected that increased our health. There is one other object that we can collect, which we'll get to later. Plus, we'll get to explore more of more of the land, see more of these vast sweeping vistas instead of just this lonely stone bridge. I mean, I know I, I go on about this stone bridge being like, ah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful sight going across this and having the cliffs drop away from either side. Yeah. And having the camera go out as you do, realizing how small you are in compared to the rest of the world, but... I realize, yeah. actually, that... Yeah. I don't... I'm not playing this while I'm doing these videos the way that I would play them. By the way, I'm just getting a fix on where we have to go back. I don't play them the way I would were I not recording. Where I would spend just time going around exploring, seeing like, oh, there's a stand of trees over there. Let's let's take a second, see what's over there. See if there's any fruit or anything. It's just a nice little little, little interesting looking oasis between two parts of a desert and the vast rolling hills to the north, but there's nothing there, so let's keep exploring, shall we? <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, in a way, this game is... there's two parts to this game. There are the bosses, the Colossi. And yes, you could just play that part of the game and be done with it, but... I feel if you do that, and miss out on the rest of the world, then you're not really experiencing the entire game. Let's get some more Russian false mangoes, shall we? <laughs> And that's part of the reason why I like this, this whole, you have to take your time, line up your shot, shoot the mangoes out of the tree. 
It gives you a second to stop, catch your breath, and just be like, oh, look at... I'm on a... I'm standing next to a twisted tree near a cliff that if I... if I had gone a little faster while getting those fruits off the ground, I might have accidentally run off. <laughs> Anyhow, now that we have our fruits, let's head to the north, shall we? Because I saw some sort of temple structure a few moments ago, and I want to check it out. Ooh, but I see a lizard first! <laughs> Get sidetracked so easily. <laughs> now, these lizards don't actually... you can shoot them, but they don't actually give you anything. I think they just restore your health, I don't know. I don't really spend much time shooting at them, because, I mean, there's no point. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking at, looking for. Oh! Seems we get another copse of trees, though. I love this. Just exploring, not knowing what's gonna happen. <laughs> hmm, I could, tr I could try climbing this one. Eh, I don't think so. It's not like you can get up there and hack at the fruits to get them off anyway. Which is too bad, but it's not like you need to. And I would have completely missed this tree had I been riding on aggro. Wouldn't that have been a shame? Anyway, aggro. Let's go, shall we? <laughs> just seeing the looming cliffs, I just want to ride aggro towards it and do sort of a uh, the old western cartoons being like, We'll wander at aggro, make it to the other side of the Grand Canyon, find out next episode! <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, you'd think that I wouldn't be so enamored with these rolling green hills, because there's not much to them but just a grass texture or rock texture, but... I don't know what it is. Anyhow! <laughs> we have a temple to explore. Shall we? Oh, I guess not yet. I couldn't make the jump. Yeah, I guess it's the the small outcroppings of rock every once in a while that make the landscape interesting. I don't know what it is. Anyway, to properly explore this, let's climb it. Because, I mean, that's how we explore everything. Climb it. Colossi, temples, trees. What else? Ah, and I see another lizard. Uh, not from here, I can't get a- I can't get a beat on him, but if you could see, it was a lizard with a white- a white tail. We have to be very, very quiet, because these guys are hard to hit. But, because of their white tail, by eating them, we get something special. We get a grip upgrade. <laughs> we'll be- we'll be getting annoyed at trying to find those lizards later on, don't worry. But for now, uh, I feel like, you know, taking a little break. Ugh. Have a nice rest. <sighs> you can pray at these temples just like you can at the stone, at the first temple to start, and you'll be able to save your game. I don't usually use them because... Again, going after a Colossus, it takes you, like... For the most part, it takes you, like, 20-30 minutes. Yeah. At yeah. most. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I felt like it, though, because... Yeah. We're in the middle of exploring! Yeah. We need yeah. a breather! And to break our horse's legs again! <laughs> anyway, we're headed back where we, where we came from. I know there's another temple over there, but we'll have plenty of time to go... Lizard hunting again? Don't wanna... Don't wanna do it all at once, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really don't know what to say anymore, because yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking about the landscape again, but I already talked about how I'm like, oh, it's just a texture on a rolling... rolling terrain. Yeah. So desolate and empty, though while still feeling like it's com it's completely full, like it's not lacking anything, and I don't know what it is. Yeah. 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 
It really is an artistic achievement because of that. Anyhow, yeah. we are at our destination, this copse of trees. No, not this copse of trees. In fact, we're at this floating island, or this UFO, depending on what you want to call it. <laughs> no, it is, it is a floating island, but it looks yeah. Yeah. suspiciously like some sort of other flying object. Yeah. Anyway, I see a I see a ramp leading up to it. Shall we? I mean, we've got to explore, right? I should I should explore the underside of this island one day. I don't think I I have actually ever gone underneath it. Not that I think you need to. You can see all you need just from the shore the from the shore, but I don't know. I just want to explore even more, because there are only 16 colossi in this entire game. There were supposed to be like over 50 originally. And there's not enough space in this in this world to fit 50 unless they reuse places, so I'm wondering like, would this change later on? Like, does this pathway we're going up, did, did it extend further down? Would there have been another colossi at the bottom of the lake? Is this floating island we're jumping to, is that just a giant plug <laughs> or something like that? This is why I love this game. There's so much that you don't know just because it's not told to you. But anyway, we are at our destination. The third Colossus. And this is Gaius. The Earth Knight. Ah, oh, and he just... He feels huge. He feels colossal. I mean, you can see the bits of dirt falling off of him and everything, and he's moving... Like, he's just a huge being. It feels great. Alright, anyway... Gaius the Earth Giant. This is the second of the bipedal colossi we'll be fighting, and as you see, he's got a giant sword for a hand. Which is his main weapon and his main weakness. He's got this attack where he will throw his sword at you. He will aim so long as he has his eyes on you. There is a point where he throws his head back and he can't see you. So we're going to run up the sword and try to get on him. But he's got this arm brace in the way, so, I mean, there's... There, how are we going to get up to him? Hmm. Maybe... Jump over to here? No, that's not going to work. You can't sometimes stand on his, on his legs in a way you shouldn't really be able to, but you can never really get up to his... His stone... His stone shorts this way. Stone hot pants, if you will. <laughs> By the way, look at all the dirt falling off of him. There are some pretty big chunks that are just flying everywhere when he when he moves. And it, it really does just add to him. There is a way to jump off of the sword onto him, but you got your timing's gotta be perfect sometimes. Like right here, I wasn't actually aiming to jump onto his onto his shorts. I was actually aiming to jump higher. But eh, it works. So get out our sword, he's got a sigil right here on his belly. I don't think you can actually get up to his upper body by climbing from this area. Yeah. But this is actually one of the hardest sigils to actually stab in the game, just because... I mean, I don't know anything, because I didn't make this game, obviously, so I'm just drawing conjectures about my, because of my observations in the game. But it must have been really hard to program the climbing around his stomach, because it's just really difficult to make Wander stay still. If you haven't noticed till now, Wander kind of grabs onto anything that's close to him. He doesn't really, like, oh, my hand's near a horse, near aggro, or my hand's near this ledge. No, it's like, oh, my hand's near this ledge, it's also near this ledge, which one could it grab onto? So when you have, like, this concave surface for his belly, it's really hard to get Wander to just stand still, or just stay still long enough to make a stab. It doesn't help that he's moving either, because 
This shouldn't be enough movement to be tossing Wander around, but look at him. He can he can hardly stay still for a few seconds. <laughs> oh, you can I love that you can still see like dirt falling off of him too. Just dirt and stones and everything. It just makes it feel like he was buried for years. Also, thank you. I know that the armor wears seem brittle. I'm gonna get to that in just a second. Thank you for spoiling <laughs> that's Thank you for spoiling things. Really, that's one of the only criticisms I have with this game as well. That if you don't if you don't figure out how to beat the boss right away, Dorman will be like, oh well. Here's a not really subtle hint, except for a couple of bosses, then it is a little bit more so on. We'll get there later, but. There are a couple bosses I wish he gave me a better hint. Those hints just are really subtle, but this it's like, uh, I could have figured it out eventually. Alright. Yeah, there we go. There's the stab I, I was waiting for. Oh, one more? Okay. He just takes a while to... You just gotta wait for the right time to stab. There's nothing else. And once we once we actually finish up with this, because this is, this is the boring sigil. Because, I mean, we don't really get to see anything. We're, we're watching his belly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we get to see his arms flailing up above, and we get to see his scars on the back of his arm. Which, again, just to add backstory, like, where did he get those scars? You'll never know. Maybe that those are scars from having the sword implanted into his into his arm. Maybe the, the armor that he's wearing wasn't actually meant to be there in the beginning at all. Maybe he was just a naturally occurring colossus at some point. And somebody added this armor on. This is all speculation, by the way. None, uh, n there's nothing to suggest anything, but there, there's scars on his arm. <laughs> but I think I think it's just really cool that they give you enough information, again by the use of a scar, but not enough. They don't actually tell you what's what what you're doing. They're doing storytelling in the best way. They're showing, not telling. All right, let's see if we can make this jump over to his arm. And keep climbing up. Yes, we did it. Yeah. Actually, it's really hard to get from that belly area back up. Um. <laughs> oh, I, ah, the weight of these colossi is amazing. You just saw there, like he took a step, and the ground shakes. He leaves. He, he just okay. He just did his second attack. One of his other attacks where he stomps on the ground, and he leaves a giant crater. It, uh, this attacks a lot of damage, also. There is another attack that he does, I don't think I show it, where he takes up his sword in both hands and then stabs it in front of him. But, you gotta use this attack, the one where he swings it over his head. You gotta make him hit that stone circle in the middle in order to get that arm, brittle arm armor off. But like, look at he's he leaves craters wherever he stands. He leaves craters wherever he hits the hits the uh, the sword. They stay around for a while too. It's not like, oh, he he moved his foot, ground's fine. No, they they do stay around. I think they're based on how many other craters he he makes. So it never really gets really that pockmarked, but <laughs> it has it has the feel. It, it definitely feels like he's moving around. It's just, it's not like, oh, well, he might as well have been standing on linoleum. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go up here to get his second sigil, which, if you'll, there we go, which we can find with the sword, is on top of his head. And I didn't show this with earlier Colossi, but if you shine the sword light towards where the sigil is, it'll make those sort of lens flare effects, but it'll also make the the sigil shine a bit brighter as well. So it can just be easier to to orient yourself. The, getting the sigil on top of his head is kind of difficult as well, but for different reasons, just because he likes to do this a lot. He really likes shaking his head. I mean, to give him credit, we're stabbing him in the head. <laughs> So, I mean, I would probably do the same. I also like that they uh, they give him a, an almost... 
They, they almost give him a guest gesture where he goes up to, like, wipe you off of his head. It never, he never actually goes up and touches you, but... Like, he does put up his hand as he shakes his head, and it, it, it's just a nice touch. Not that he has much of a hand to begin with, but... What I would give sometimes, just to, like... Because I haven't shown you this, but when you defeat the Colossi and you come back... I believe their bodies... Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe their bodies are just dull black and you pray before them to like fight them again I wish that it was just the details I don't know I don't really go back to fight the Colossi that much so I just start a new game <laughs> uh, we got him though almost almost like I said it's annoying for different reasons there we go It's some of the best death animations, too. Like, he actually looks like he's dying. More so than most other enemies you would ever find in a video game. And just the shock waves as he falls. It's just icing on the cake, really. And look, we went flying as he fell, too. Uh-oh, they're coming for us. Quick, wander, jump! Oh, uh, maybe we got away? Oh, no. We Ah, oh, so close. Anyway, that was Gaius, the third Colossus. And now the game has truly, I believe, begun. Hey, what'd you guys do to him? N nothing, we just found him like this. Uh. <laughs> but no, I do believe that with Gaius, the game has truly begun because this is where we start getting puzzles in how to fight them. Like, I know the first Colossus, we had to stab him in the back of the knee to make him bend down so we could get up. The second Colossus, we had to shoot him in the foot to get him to bend over. But they, those aren't really puzzles. Gaius, we had to have him shatter his arm. We're going to get to that next episode, when we face probably my least favorite Colossus in the entire game. <laughs> and you'll see why next time on Let's Replay Shadow of the Colossus with Mio Xfu.